Early days, of course, but at the moment he looks like a mistake. Let, let's be honest about this. He looks like a mistake. Um, he would have been brought into the club, Rob, as one who Ange Postacoglu could hang his hat on. Somebody who can go straight into the team and improve it and be reliable and be dependable. He has been anything but. Now, hopefully there is improvement in him. Hopefully this is a settling in period that he's still getting up to speed. But I've seen no evidence at all from Carlos Starfield that he's the answer to Celtic's defensive uh, weakness. What concerns you most, Davey, on that aspect of, you know, when you think... I mean, I, I, I was on last night and said that he doesn't look to have the physical presence. You know, albeit Christopher Julian and Christopher Ayer had frailties, but they were a presence when you looked and thought, oh, you know, there's a good size and strength and physicality and pace about them. I just think he looks okay at everything without being... Yeah, you know, I, standing I, out. I, I don't think he reads it well, Stephen. I, I, I think he's, I'm not saying he's Shane Duffy, but he's caught under the ball a lot. I don't think he looks particularly quick. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I don't think he, he reads it. He, he always seems to be making last gasp tackles. Now, a lot of defenders get through a career and are, are praised that, oh, great, what a great guy he was for the last <laughs> ditch tackle. Yeah. And the last ditch tackle is normally because the defender's out of position yeah. in the first place. And St Starfield, Starfield worries me. And listen, and listen I'm, I'm sure he worries Postacoglu. You can bet that Ange Postacoglu has not seen every player that's coming into Celtic Park. He could have come in on a strong recommendation and Postacoglu, in a desperate situation, has taken him. But Postacoglu's not stupid. He'll, he'll be looking at Starfield and thinking to himself, I, I can't hang my hand in this guy. I mean, mm. he, I mean, he's another couple of centre-backs in. Mm. He's been culpable, hasn't he, in, quite, in, in, in terms of quite a few Celtic goals already. Uh, in the last few weeks. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, if you go back to Jablonic's, um, you know, the, the ball over the top, I mean, that's... Yeah. You know, no pressure on the ball in midfield. He's a Swedish international. First thing, and Stephen will tell you, if there's no pressure on the ball in midfield, the first thing Stephen's doing is dropping. Mm -hmm. it, you don't want to be caught with the, the ball over no. the top. And, and it was like amateur defending. The goal against Hearts at the weekend at the front post, where he should deal with it, doesn't deal with it, um, should be anticipating that someone's making the run on his shoulder as well gives the penalty away doesn't look good at all so that would be that's, that's Davies concern is that right at the top of the show we're speaking about potential signings we're speaking about right back and a striker but actually centre back is top priority because things further forward are looking pretty bright um, but in, in big games coming up they're, yeah. they're going to need to be much stronger defensively well if they don't strengthen between now and the old firm game the old firm game will be a real test to see what they've got, to see how good they are, especially going to Ibrox with a full house. You know, the atmosphere, the noise, everything that goes with it, the tempo of the game. You may get away with the back four they have just now for premiership games, certain games at home. So in this weekend, I don't think they'll have, you know, I wouldn't say that much of a problem, but they won't be under the kind of pressure they will be tonight against Alkmaar, what they will be next Thursday against Alkmaar, what they will be next Sunday against Rangers. So that kind of can cover you a little bit. It can give you a little bit of false sense of hope that you think everything's going well, false sense of security, everybody's tidy and, and, and compact. So I think, first of all, tonight will be a real good marker to see where Carl Starfeld is, to see where Stephen Welch is, to see as the back four rub where they are. If they can cope well and add me tonight, they may grow into the game. But you need competition for places. You need dominant centre halves. You need people who. I mean, you don't have to think of last year of Halander and, and Barisic at times. Uh, sorry, Halander and um, and Golson, dominant. You know, doing really well. Just give that base with the goalkeeper behind. Give that little triangle just to think we're solid here. Everybody else can go and attack. And Celtic look like they're going to go and attack, and they're going to be open. They can't leave themselves exposed to the back. Tell Alexa to launch Go Radio or listen on the Go Radio app.